The Russian SJ-100 aircraft, formerly known as the Sukhoi Superjet, accomplished a significant milestone on April 12, 2025, on the occasion of World Aviation and Cosmonautics Day. The aircraft reached its maximum altitude of 12,200 meters. This altitude is indicative of the aircraft's practical ceiling and was implemented as part of a comprehensive flight test program designed to expedite its certification process. The first working prototype developed under Russia's import substitution program, aircraft number 97001, was used to conduct the test. Despite the fact that this prototype is equipped with Russian systems, it continues to operate on Russian-French Powerjet SAM-146 engines, in contrast to future versions that will be powered by completely domestic PD-8 engines. The, the aircraft's performance and systems were subjected to a thorough evaluation during the three-hour flight test. One of the primary goals was to evaluate the control system following a software update that increased its functionality and improved flight safety. The aircraft was subjected to extreme altitudes of 12,200 meters and high angles of attack by pilots who tested it across its entire spectrum of speeds from a minimum of 310 knots to a maximum of 410 knots. The flight crew reported that the results were favorable, which represents an additional advancement in the certification procedure for the SJ-100 in its Russian config. The SJ-100 aircraft's achievement of 12,200 meters, 40,000 feet, is significant because it validates operational reliability in extreme conditions, a critical prerequisite for certification. The aircraft's engine performance, structural limits, and avionic stability are evaluated at this altitude, which is referred to as the practical ceiling. This milestone serves as evidence of the efficacy of the redesigned systems of Russia's import-substituted SJ-100, which include domestically developed navigation hardware, updated control software, and other components that replace Western technology. It emphasizes the advancements made in the pursuit of self-reliance in the face of sanctions, guaranteeing that the aircraft satisfies the safety and performance requirements for commercial use. The SJ-100's altitude capability is consistent with the industry standards for regional jets when compared to other aircraft. For example, the certification ceiling of the Sukhoi Superjet 100 pre-sanctions version is 12,500 meters, 41,000 feet. However, practical operations typically limit the ceiling to approximately 12,200 meters due to performance margins. In the same vein, the design ceilings of the Bombardier CRJ series and Embraer E-Jets are marginally lower, with an operating range of 11,000 to 12,000 meters, 36,000 to 39,000 feet. For fuel efficiency, long-haul aircraft such as the Boeing 787 or Airbus A350 cruise at 13 to 100 meters, 43,000 feet, while specialized business jets like the Gulfstream G650 can reach 15,545 meters, 51,000 feet. Consequently, the SJ-100's accomplishment is not a matter of breaking altitude records, but rather of verifying the functionality of its systems under stress. This test is of particular importance to the Russian aviation sector, as it represents a significant advancement in the process of certifying a wholly indigenous aircraft. Despite the ongoing dependence on Russian-French engines in this prototype, the SJ-100's successful high-altitude trials serve as confirmation of its capacity to operate securely with domestically produced avionics, control systems, and landing gear. Foreign dependencies will be further reduced by future versions that are equipped with completely Russian PD-8 engines. The SJ-100 attempts to establish a presence in the aviation market and enhance Russia's technological sovereignty by imitating the capabilities of Western-designed regional aircraft. In addition to testing flight performance, updates to the radio navigation and guidance systems were evaluated. The navigation accuracy was improved as a result of the revisions, which included enhancements to both hardware and software mathematical support. Additionally, the aircraft's computer interface was simplified to enhance operational efficiency by making it more user-friendly for flight crews. This achievement is a component of Russia's overarching initiative to attain technological self-reliance in aviation through import substitution. 
This program, which was initiated in response to Western sanctions, has already supplanted approximately 40 foreign systems with domestically produced alternatives. Although this specific prototype continues to use SAE M146 engines, future iterations will incorporate PD-8 engines that are currently undergoing independent testing on modified platforms. Let us remind you that the Sukhoi Superjet 100 successfully accomplished its inaugural flight in Komsomolsk on Amur on March 17, 2025, with domestically produced PD-8 engines. This event was a critical juncture in the aviation sector of Russia, as it signified the commencement of flight tests for the PD-8 engines as part of the Superjet program. The aircraft attained an altitude of 3,000 meters and a speed of 500 kilometers per hour during the flight, which lasted approximately 40 minutes. The prototype aircraft used for this test was produced in 2018 with factory number 95157. Before certification for mass production, the SJ-100 program necessitates the completion of approximately 200 test flights. The PD-8 engine is referred to as the core of this initiative, representing advancement in Russia's pursuit of self-reliance in aerospace technology. Now, how much time do you think PD-8 will take to achieve 12,200 meters? Please let us know in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos.